Hello, this is my little video tribute to the Montreal Canadiens, my favorite hockey team, and my favorite player on officially licensed cards, Ken Dryden. This is one of my favorite cards officially licensed of all time. It's a pro set, kind of lists the Canadiens titles, like who, won, what, where. And you'll see one of their greatest players of all time. You see my thumbprint in the way. Ken Dryden. We're going to talk about him right there. And we're going to go on to his cards. But I will say, I, again, I am a fan of the Canadians. Their 1993 Stanley Cup Championship team card on a score card, which, again, is officially licensed, talks about their history. They beat the LA Kings, who we know on ESPN, who the coach was then. Doesn't like to really say he's a Canadian fan, but this is the history of it all. And then you'll see Patrick Waugh was the goalie who went on to control the history of the Avalanche for a while, who now they're talking about coming back, and I will make a video tribute to him eventually. Uh, this is the rookie card. I'm sure a lot of people own one. It's the Ken Dryden rookie. From 1971-72 tops, talks about him going to Cornell. Uh, played in 397 games in his career. This year, he went on to win the Stanley Cup title, undefeated in the regular season, 6-0. Went on to have a 12 and 8 record in the playoffs, and won won his first of eight. I mean, six Stanley Cups out of eight years. We know he's now the general manager of the Toronto Blue Jays, went on to become a senator. Here's his, I think, se I presume, second year card, which we know is true because it is. Talks about his 72, 73 years, all of his MVPs, Cornell graduate, all of his history. He, uh, it's a beautiful card. And we'll talk more on this card here. This is a very rare one because this year he only actually appeared, I believe, in Tops. He didn't have an OPG card, which tend to be his more expensive cards. These are all Tops for the most part, but when they change, I'll talk about it. Uh, you can see the TGC talks about, it again, more of his history, uh, all that stuff. This is another great card of Ken Dryden. This is his tribute, obviously. Uh, he won 258 games uh, for like a 7-8 time All-Star. I think he was an All-Star every year. This is his 77. It's focusing not very well, or I'm not focusing it very well. 77-78 year, which is a fairly common card. These are not like super expensive, but they can be hard to find at times, but on the Certain sites you can find them pretty easily. Ken Dryden is one of the more expensive players, except for the newer players, but in the older vintage guys, he's one of the more ex exceptionally priced. He had a very nice autograph, which you find very few of his. I don't think there's an official autograph that exists of his, his that is certified out of a pack. Uh, this is the round border, top 77. It appears in writing here, number 5 pretty much blank back. He did only go on out of 397 games he started. He only lost 57 of those and tied 74. Had 46 shutouts. He was a great goalie. If you watch his history, look at it. The best goalie of all time. Jacques Plante is the next best one behind him. This is the top 78-79. Uh, they show his facsimile autograph on the back. Another beautiful hockey set. We know Topps doesn't do hockey anymore, but OPG was bought up by Upper Deck. So it's kind of a. Here's one I got a few a months ago. Actually, about a month ago. It's his ESO card, which is not rare, but it's not a Topps. It's one of the more newer cards of him, but I just wanted it because it's. Ken Dryden, and it's a beautiful picture. It's old time. And my final card I possess of his is his Upper Deck Retro 99, which 
again you could see he's they didn't have the equipment there his stats all of his information that you could want I guess in a sense of a hockey player without getting too personal with him and that's about it for him there is one other story to this his brother Dave Dryden was also a goalie my only officially licensed card of his brother David who went on to play with Wayne Gretzky for a while uh, this is the 79 or what the 80 let's see here if I can back it up and zoom in a little bit I'm trying to waste time here so 7980 card which was Ken Dryden's official last card as well uh, but Dave Dryden went on to play with the he was not a great player he only played in three playoff games in the NHL like it unlike his brother who went on to play in like 112 of them went 80 wins 32 losses but Dave was only three and two so it kinda goes with my name and I'm just kinda rambling on here to finish this up and uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll talk to you again sometime which will happen if you watch these videos Bye.